Right, so a bit of a different video today. Um, so I was requested the other day to do a, a tutorial on the Sharp 4 736 progression. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. And if you're wondering where my face cam is, then yeah, hey, people to tap me, so my eyes are all red. And I don't think you want to see that. <laughs> so hopefully in the next video, you, um, you'll see face cam. We pray, we pray. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm going to show you the theory behind it and then I'll show you how it's played in a song. I don't know if you spotted it in the intro, but yeah, I, I did drop it in, in the intro. If you did, leave a like in the video if you, if you spotted the shot for 736 in the intro. But yeah, so let's get into it. Alright, so before we play it, what we're going to do is break down what it actually is. So let's go for a 736 first. So a 736 in, in essence is a minor 251. So we're in the key of G major, which is... So... So, uh, 736 in G major would look like this. Okay. Now, that could also be used, which is, it, that could also be said or called a minor 251. So, it would be a 251 in E minor. So, E minor. So, 2, which is 2, 5, 1. Yeah. Okay. So now that you know that, 736251. Obviously, G, E minor is G major's relative minor. If you don't know about relative minors, then I might do a video on it. We'll see. We'll see. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone knows about relative minors. If not, drop it in the comments and I'll adhere to your request. But um, yeah, so now I'm going to show you the sharp 4 736 in a song. Um, in Draw Me Nearer is what you heard in the intro. So let's go for that. All right. Did you spot it? Did you spot the sharp, sharp four seven three six? I hope you did. If you didn't, I'm gonna show you where it was. So it was here. One more time. Okay. So obviously the sharp four was this before we went to seven three six. So yeah, sharp four is one two three four. Then sharpen it. We could call it flat five as well because flatten the fat the five. Yeah. So now we're gonna show you how it's done and then you can hopefully implement it yourself. So the sharp four chord that I use most of the time. Uh, if not, uh, obviously sometimes I change my chords when I'm playing because you know, yeah. But most of the time I build it off this. So it's a C sharp C sharp seven sharp nine sharp five. For you use theory theory and theory out there. Obviously you can see it on the screen as well. So yeah. But if you don't know how to how to find it, then this is C, C sharp. This is C seven. That's C seven. This is the nine of, of C sharp because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sharp the nine. Sharp the five as well. That's a five. Sharp the five. So one, two, three, four, five. Sharp the five. So that's how it's a C sharp seven, sharp nine, sharp five. Okay, cool. Right. Um, so. The notes for that are C sharp and F in your left hand and in your right hand it's B, E and A. Pretty straightforward. You can obviously if you do if you play with the bass player as well, you can get rid of the C sharp and just do that. So obviously when it's down there, so it'd be like So obviously you're free to do more stuff if you've got a bass player, but if you don't then you can even stretch for yourself if you want. Um if you've got hands big enough or if you just go like that. But um yeah, so that's the first chord, that would be a sharp 4. Now the 7 is this, which is the same, it's the same concept as this. So if you, if you do that and move it up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 half steps. If you move up, yeah, yeah. So do that and move it up 5 half steps. It's the same chord. So you can even, yeah. So sharp 4, 7. So 7 is F sharp. And E in your left hand, uh, B flat, D, E, and A in your right hand. Yeah, and then the three is pretty much 
you can pretty much do the same thing. <laughs> so that's safe. That's that. Just take it down. Um, take it down two half steps. So for instance, you can actually do that, but obviously, like that's just that's just long to do. So to make it easy, just invert it. Or all that. So that's 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 pretty nice. I want to do if you want to sound, you know, you want to sound like you know what you're doing. So that so be B, B in the left hand, and your right hand would be A C sharp D sharp and G. Yeah, I'm not going to carry on naming the chords because you see on the screen. But yeah, um, and then the six. So octave E, then G A, G and A with your thumb. And um, that's a good tip as well. Um, if you want to make a chord sound faster, just because obviously you've only got five fingers, so you have to make use of what you got, so you can make it make the chord sound sound more packed and more rich. Do you know what I mean? So use your thumb to stretch to press play both two notes, and then B D G. You can add the E if you want. Yeah. So. Now if you go from the 1 to the sharp 4 Yeah If you want to know how you use it, use it as a passing chord Use the sharp 4 as a passing chord Because if you just do a 1, 7, 3, 6, you'll be like But if you use a sharp 4 Yeah, so it's just uh, just a way to keep your playing interesting and vibrant. You can use it. I'm not gonna say pretty much everywhere, but pretty much everywhere. Anywhere that there's a one seven three six or a seven three six or the song that goes from one to six very slowly, you can use it there. So if it's like, You can use sharp four seven three six. So it's just it's just to keep it interesting, keep it flowing, keep it. You know what I mean. Hopefully you got some value from this lesson, this kind of quick tutorial. If you did, then make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more content, I don't know, music content, because I'll be doing new tutorials, doing challenges, doing um, fun stuff, as you seen in my last video, so just subscribe for more music content, innit? Um, but yeah, hopefully you can implement this into your playing and um, keep improving. Um, also, next thing, next thing to do once you master this is to transpose it into, into other keys, or 12 keys, so from G, go to A flat. And then go to A. Obviously, you can do variations of the sharp four. I just did that. And then take up to, to B flat. So just just improve, just keep, just take it up. And then once you're flip comfortable in all 12 keys, then try and add your own spin on it. And then, yeah. But. Yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you. So, uh, yeah, in a bit.